First of all, I'm whooping my son's goddamn ass if he put his hands on a woman anyway. Dude, that's not what I taught you. That's not what you've learned. You've never seen me do that to your mother. You never seen me do it to my lady. There's no damn way you, I would accept that. So yeah, that would be a problem for me. Now, if my son was the one being abused, I say, do walk away. You get away from that woman. Why are you with that woman? Most of the time, these people show you before you even get married. They show you probably more than likely during the dating stage. I, I don't condone abuse. Um, I've seen a form of it with my mother. I see my mother be aggressive, which I could think would be a form of abuse. And I've also seen her being physically abused. It was kind of just like toxic from both sides. Right. Um, my only concern is that that abuse stems from something. It has to be something that happened uh, trauma related that will cause somebody to go off the rails like that. And what we've seen, especially in today, is that you can't really measure how far is going to go. And unfortunately, we've seen it to come to the point where um, death was a result of that. So a lot of times in, in order for us to really understand what somebody should do, we often would say, ask somebody if they have a daughter or what if it was your son? What if it was your daughter? And then that's when you kind of get the truth into the answer. So I think that is uh, something that you should should ask yourself before giving somebody some advice. I, I don't. I'm with Hink. I don't think you can really tell somebody what to endure because it could be bad, and they may not have just expressed it that way because maybe they are trying to give that person some form of grace. But if there's any form of uh, abuse, I do think you should probably separate. Uh, if you're married, I don't. Think you have to get a divorce but there there's a problem there and i think the safety should be your number one priority at that time from both sides because sometimes you know um you could be receiving the abuse and you don't really know how you're going to respond you may receive a malform of abuse but then your response may be something deadly so um just just separate and figure out what's going on i don't think you have to jump the gun of actually leaving a marriage now if it's just uh a relationship, that's a little bit, I think it's an easy an easy uh, decision to make at that time. But if you guys got kids or something like that or planning for a marriage, then just separate and then figure out what the root problem it is and just uh, creep back into that relationship, creep back into living under the same roof. That's just my thoughts about it. I mean, you know, one thing I would like to ask and probably interject is that, uh, you know, let's say hypothetically these two people who come together and they're married, you know, they grew up in a two-parent household. Everything was great childhood, great background, everything, right? They come together, they marry, why not? They start to experience some uh, some tough circumstances in the years to come. There's a death in the family. You know, accident happened. The economy is not good. They're tight on finances. These are all circumstances of life. You've never You've never faced any hardship, real true hardship in your entire life. Right. And in your marriage, things are going to test you in terms of your ability to be um, disciplined, you know, in, in terms of you, you know, communicating effectively to one another, making sure you're both in alignment. And there are also things that are going to rattle that in sort of at the at the moment or sight of hardship. Right. Or tough times you're going to look for the exit because you have, you know, those people are trying to look for the exit, what it seems like, because they've never seen or experienced like that, especially for long periods of time. So there is a little bit, a line of suffering, you know, tough times don't last. However, tough people do. And those who persevere through it will see a lot more fruits at the end. You know, everything is, every day isn't going to be sunshines and rainbows. That's just not true. That's just not how life always goes. There's always some circumstance that comes up. But how you handle that and how you show up in your relationship and everything around it will, you know, separate you from those who allow the pressures of the outside world cave into your marriage or relationship. So I just want to yield that. I know one of the things was uh, when I had my tell my son the same thing. 
First of all, I'm whooping my son's goddamn ass if he put his hands on a woman anyway. Dude, that's not what I taught you. That's not what you've learned. You've never seen me do that to your mother. You never seen me do it to my lady. There's no damn way you, I would accept that. So yeah, that would be a problem for me. Now, if my son was the one being abused, I say, do walk away. You get away from that woman. Why are you with that woman? Most of the time, these people show you before you even get married. They show you probably more than likely during the dating stage. Even when you're engaged, they're going to show it then if that's what they are. When you see them signs, you need to be worried. You need to get away. Don't keep pressing on with the relationship if those signs are there. Now, if you choose to stay in a situation like that, I'm going to think you're turned on by that bullshit. In some type of sick way or manner, you get off by getting your ass whooped. Not that you want to do it. I think you're turned on by that bullshit. Then you need some help just along with that dude that's whooping your ass. Or that girl that's whooping your ass. Y'all both need help. But get out of the situation. Uh, divorce? No, I probably wouldn't encourage you to get divorced because I don't I don't believe I, I, I condone or push for divorce. But I think y'all need to have some um, some time apart. And if there's kids involved, you really need to be apart. Because now you're impressing that same lifestyle on your children. Now you got a bad cycle that's going to continue with the kids and the kids after that. Because that's what they're going to learn. They learn behaviors. They, they see from them trash-ass parents. They're going to continue that shit down the road, man. And it's not fair to them. Wait, Jay. I, I agree. No, I agree. And... um. I do not support being abused, you know what I'm saying, or abusing. But let me ask you a question, Hank. Have you done anything that you didn't think you were capable of? Like, in life, have things occurred? I'm not saying it's abuse or anything like that, but have things occurred that you thought to yourself, damn, what the hell was I thinking? Or why the hell did I do that? You know what I mean? Have you been in those situations where you've surprised yourself? Yes. And it could have been a dark moment for you, you know, and just imagine if you are judged in totality by that moment. You know what I mean? Like with abuse, you know, there are serial abusers. You know what I'm saying? There are people that need to be in jail. There are people that more than jail need to have their ass whooped. You know what I mean? But then there are people who have never been put in a certain situation and they made a mistake. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've witnessed that and I've seen it and I've been like, OK, you know, I had to see it from a different perspective because it was somebody that I loved. You know what I mean? But what I'm saying is. I think a mistake is different from abuse. Abuse to me sounds repetitive, like it's continued. You know what I'm saying? Like this is your go to. A mistake is I've never experienced this and this is what I did. You know, I've had situations where, you know, somebody pulled a gun on me and my friends and pew, my feet just took over. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say, yo, let's run. Let's orchestrate. Dog. I just started running. You know what I mean? Like it's a muscle. But I've never been in that situation, you know at the, the first time it happened i was not in that situation so i didn't know how i would react you know we could sit and oh if that was me all i know i saw a gun pume got out of there 